so he is the longest running contributor on The Daily Show, the voice of anger in Pixar's Inside Out, and he's been touring across the country for over 35 years. And now comedian, playwright, actor Louis Black is joining me live. Thanks so much for talking with me at this early hour. I really appreciate it. It's my pleasure. Thank you. So are you really hanging it up when it comes to live stand up? No, it's not live stand-up, it's touring, which is 125 to 150 dates a year. And I have other things I need to get done. And I used to be able to uh, kind of do the tour and write and do stuff and da -da -da. And now I really just, I really just want to focus some of that time on, on writing. And, uh, and I'll continue to perform. If something irritates me, I'm going to certainly <laughs> perform. And I, I'll be on The Daily Show and I've got a rant cast and I'll continue to do that. And if somebody wants me for something, I'll show up if it's, if it's interesting enough. Yeah, if it pleases you, as they say. What surprises you most about the places that you visit, like Chicago, when you first started touring to now? I mean, have you noticed the change in audiences? I'm sure it's, it depends on where you are, I would imagine. The food got better. I mean, Chicago's food's always been pretty great, but I'll tell you this. The one thing, you, there are two things I noticed. One is, is the food has gotten better throughout the country. It used to be you, you were lucky to find a, a restaurant that, that cared about food. Let's just get it out there. Now every, every city, I don't care, big to small, has, has a couple of really great restaurants and are doing all sorts of things in terms of food and, and in terms of touring. That's been great. And, uh, and over the course of the past 35 years, I've watched these cities kind of grow uh, and get, you know, become nicer. And uh, for all the talk about, you know, oh, boy, we're really in the, this is awful, what's going on out here? Well, it's, you'd be hard-pressed to say it when you look at what they've done in terms of buildings. What's going on in terms of mental health is something else, but, but the buildings are spectacular. Yeah, mental health, that's a whole other conversation. You know, uh, we are about a month away, of course, from Election Day. You are the longest running contributor to Comedy Central's The Daily Show. How does always being on the road, being around people who might have very different political views, change how you address or discuss politics? Or does it not have any impact at all? doesn't have any impact if they if they're coming there i mean i had somebody whine recently in the audience it's like please then how did you show up it's not like my stuff isn't out there uh <laughs> if, if you think it's going to irritate you stay home uh so it's it's never uh gotten in the way and it really isn't until the last uh, eight years where there was all of a sudden you can't say that well i never had it before i never had a problem before you know, the whole it was free really speech. just in, in the last uh, eight years that people the people started to show up and start whining. Yeah, the tone, you know, I mean, the tone of the political discussion in general has just changed so much in those eight years. It's crazy. Um, goodbye, Yeller Brick Road. Yeller being, you know, you're known, of course, for when you're, you know, on a rant, you're, you yell a bit, just a bit. But um, this is not goodbye, as you discussed. People can actually listen to you all the time in your rant cast, as you mentioned, in your podcast. Um, Will that medium, do you think, satisfy you without a live audience, though? I mean, do you, don't you draw energy from the audience, at least the audience who laughs along and, doesn't, and don't heckle you? <laughs> yeah, no, it's true. I do. I, I, I'm going to miss it, but I will, you know, I will go and when I need a fix, I'll go, I'll go find the live audience. I'll also do some of those red casts live and... Uh, uh, I'll go, you know, I'll, I'll do them from time to time live. I don't, to be honest, I've said it during the Rancast. I, I'm sitting in what I, I'm talking to you now in my, my own, uh, you know, private cable access studio uh, that I've, it's in my apartment. And I just, I, I don't, I, I end up talking, I feel like I'm talking to myself. I feel like I'm nuts. Yeah. And so I, I've always needed the audience to kind of, be there is the backboard and is the ones kind of guiding me through uh, where I should be going and what I'm discussing. Don't knock talking to yourself. I do it all the time. All right, some <laughs> tickets are, are still available for shows this Wednesday and Thursday at the North Shore Center for Performing Arts in Skokie. So if this is truly your last time stopping through live in our area, how do you want to leave it? I just want to be able to say goodbye and uh, 
let them know how deeply I appreciated, uh, you know, them coming out. I mean, I played Skokie for a long, long time, and uh, I love that uh, theater. It's 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 a jewel. Uh, the audience is really uh, in, incredibly bright. I've and I've already been in Chicago performing, you know, uh, over the last year, and. Uh, I just want folks to know, you know, uh, without them, uh, you know, I'd be, I'd, I wouldn't be where I am. And it, it, they mean the world to me. And it's not easy to say, it's not easy to leave. Yeah, yeah, right. Well, first and foremost, I hope you have a couple great shows here. And congratulations on such a long and wonderful career to you. Thank you. I, I deeply appreciate it. It's, uh, it's been fun. I've gotten away with murder. Yeah, I mean, how how great is that, right? <laughs> All right? Small murder, just ideas, don't take it, not a context, shut up. Yeah, this was not literal. <laughs> he did not mean that literally, folks. All right, Lewis Black, thank you so much. And as I mentioned, you can catch Lewis at the North Shore Center in Skokie this Wednesday and Thursday. So visit the North Shore Center website for tickets and details. Once again, thanks so much. And uh, maybe my husband and I will swing by and catch a show on Thursday. <laughs> Well, let me know, and uh, I'll see you backstage and say hi to you. That, that would be so much fun. All right, thanks so much, Lewis.